Now, I gotta do what I gotta do to create passive income forever. Now, the way I'm gonna create passive income forever is through dividends. Dividends is by far the most passive form of income there is. These companies are paying you out just saying, hey, thank you for investing inside our company. Here's a dividend check. Now, unfortunately, I have to sell some of my highest yield dividend stocks, buy a, a dividend ETF that doesn't have such a high dividend yield. I'm talking about I'm selling some of my dividend stocks that pays out a 12% dividend yield. Remember, the higher the yield is, the more these companies pay you back out. So I'm selling some of my 8%, 4%, 5% dividend yield, 12% dividend yield companies in order to buy this 3.3 something percent dividend yield ETF. Now, why am I doing that? It's going to all make sense in this video. So you guys go get your pens, go get your paper, take notes on why we just don't chase dividend paying stocks, but we chase good quality companies, good quality ETFs that just so happen to pay dividends that could create us a generational wealth of passive income every single month or every single quarter. Now I did sell around 11 of my dividend paying stocks. Well, most of them was dividend paying stocks. Some of them was underperforming stocks and I got to cut my losses while I got to cut my losses. Some of these stocks was paying me out every single month. And I'm talking about a good chunk of dividends that they was paying me out. And I'm just sitting back looking at it. And I was like, this is not dividend investing. This is me just investing inside a dividend paying stock. If you want to be a true dividend investor and actually retire and live off your dividends in the future, this is the video that you guys need to watch. So go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And also, if you guys want to get started on dividend investing, there's a platform called Moomoo, Moo, the sponsors of today's video. Moomoo Moo offers you commission-free trading and a 5.1% APY cash suite interest on the cash that's just sitting inside your portfolio. If you sign up now with the link down in the description, deposit $100, you could receive up to 12 free stocks, 15 free stocks if you use my link. And with those free stocks, you could get a slice of the big seven like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, stocks like that, right? So that is an amazing way to get started. Also inside the platform, they got amazing tools, free tools that you could use, advanced screening tools that you could use to help yourself become a better trader. You have access to the early market hours, the aftermarket hours, and many more advanced information that these other companies just can't provide. And also, if you want access to foreign companies, you could do that inside the Moomoo app. So if you guys want to check that out, that link is going to be down in the description. I want to say thank you again to Moomoo for being a long-term sponsor of this channel. But enough talking, guys. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back, dreamers. Now, I know what you're saying. Why am I selling a 12% dividend yield paying stock in order to buy 3% dividend stock if you're trying to live off your dividend? I'm going to show you guys in this video. Now, the I'm going to give you the 11 stocks that I sold that was some of them I was in profit, some of them I was in negative, but I sold all of these stocks to collect all of my money to invest inside of SCHD. That is the ETF that we're going to be picking up in order to retire in the future. Now, now SCHD, if I do this right, I can make thousands of dollars every dividend payment every single quarter. I can make $1,000 a month to $5,000 a month to $12,000 a month, all the way up to around $70,000 every single year and I could retire with that in a form of dividends by doing absolutely nothing. But here go the 11 stocks that I sold. I sold AGNC which is a 12% dividend yielder. I've been getting paid out $12.48 from AGNC for years now and I'm I'm deciding to sell it. I saw RITM, PSEC, RKT, TRLY, Lucid, S dot, ONL, Matterport, SNLD, and SOLV. Some of these stocks I bought early on in my dividend investing journey inside of my investing journey. I bought way early on before I even knew I was doing. I held some of these stocks for four or five years, but now that I know what I'm doing, it's time to just cut it out, stop chasing these high dividend yield paying stocks and actually invest into a good quality ETF. So let me show you guys why I chose SCHD and how this could create passive income 
forever and outperform these high yield dividend stocks. Let me show you guys exactly right now. All right, here we are on Seeking Alpha. This is SCHD over the last year that up 8.65%. Five years, they're up 46%. And over the last 10 years, they're up 100%. This is the kind of growth that we're looking for inside. You're gonna get growth in equity and you're gonna get growth in dividends. Now we take a look at their holdings, right? Um, they're pretty diverse. They have it spread out from financials, healthcare, uh, consumer defense, industrials. They have it pretty evenly spread out and they invest inside. This is the Swab US Dividend Equity um, ETF. That means they invest inside um, dividend paying stocks. And these are their top 10 holdings. Abbey, Cisco, Home Depot, Chevron, BlackRock. These are their top 10 holdings on um, Verizon, Coca-Cola, Texas Instruments. And they have over 103 different dividend paying stocks inside of their portfolio. Now, if we go over to the dividends right here, you guys can see that they've been increasing. This is the key part. They've been increasing their dividend yield every single year for the last 12 years since they came about, right? And they have a 3.66% dividend yield. And this is the key right here. They have the last five year growth rate is 12.88% and it gets even better than that. Now, as you guys know, I had a lot of AGNC, so we're gonna click on AGNC. And we're going to click right there. And you're going to see right here that has a 14.89% dividend yield. Completely insane. Even if AGNC just stay sideways for the next 5, 10 years and just continue to give me out my 14.89% dividend yield every single year, then that's going to be good, right? Why am I selling AGNC? But this is the key factor right here. They have a negative 5-year growth. I mean, you're actually losing money every single year in dividends that you invest inside of um, their dividend paying company over the last five years. That's it's a negative growth rate and they have not increased it for the last zero years. That is completely insane. And if we go to that summary right here and look over the last year, they're down 5%. Last five years, they're down 42%. Last 10 years, they're down 57%. So all you new dividend investors that's just out there chasing these high dividend yield stocks because it has a 14.89% dividend yield, you're doing it wrong. That's not how you're gonna live uh, scot-free on your investments. Now, let me show you guys an easy example before we get back to SCHD. Now, we're gonna look at Lowe's right quick, right? So we're gonna go to Lowe's and Lowe's has a 2.1% dividend yield, even lower than uh, SCHD, but that has a 60-year dividend growth rate. But they have a 60-year dividend growth with an 18% dividend growth rate, which is completely insane anything over 50 years makes them a dividend king so this is a dividend king now here's the kicker guys if we go to the dividend yield and click dividend yield and scroll down to the yield on cost so if we go over the the last 10 years actually the max years all the way back if you start to invest 30 years ago inside lows the yield on cost is 100% compared to today of 2%. So if you're up 100%, that means if you invested $10,000 into Lowe's uh, 10 years ago, right now you'll be making around 1200 uh, 102 112 you'll be making around $12,000 in dividends every single year from that one investment of $10,000. 30 years ago. So now you're making more every single year in dividends because their yield on cost, because they're increasing their dividend yield every single year and it's growing, this yield on cost is gonna be completely insane right there. And if we look at AG and C, let's say AG and C on their dividend yield, you guys can see that you will actually be losing compared to today, which is for around 14%. If you started investing 15 years ago, you'll be losing. It's down to 7%. Now, if we pull up SCHD, SCHD, even though they've only been around for around 12 years, we're going to hit max. And there it goes up 12% from what you will have be paying for today. For today's price and yesterday's price, you'll be getting paid even more from SCHD completely insane all right so now if we look at the dividend growth let's click on dividend growth that's uh this right here 12 percent average over the last five years we're gonna click on dividend growth let's click on the last 10 years you guys can see it started off at a dollar or five all the way up to two dollars and 66 cents and if we look at the annual payout uh growth year over year um, 3%, 13%, 10%, 17%, 19%, uh, 6%. So the average over the last five years was 12% growth of their yield. So that is the growth of their company. Let me show you guys the compound interest effect. So I end up buying $3,700 worth of SCHD after I had sold AGNC, after I sold RITM. Now, RITM was paying me $50 every single quarter right here was paying me out $50 every single quarter. That is amazing, right? I, I sold it. 
I sold it because it's not giving me the same numbers that SCHD will give me, even though they have a lower so-called dividend yield score, right? They have a lower dividend yield of 3.66%. But I sold RITM, which has a dividend yield, RITM, has a dividend yield of 9.1%. I sold it because it's just not giving me the numbers and it has a negative growth rate. That is not what I'm looking for. So let me show you guys, since I bought $3,700 worth of SEHD after I sold all those trash dividend paying companies, if I continue to invest $500 every single month inside of SEHD, how can I create generational passive income? So we're gonna go to the dividend calculator. Let's say we started off, like I told you guys, with $3,700 after I had sold everything. Um, the, the dividend yield was 3.66%, correct? At 3.66%, um, if we look at the summary over the last 10 years, that is a 10% every single year. So annual contributions, I'll be investing $500 every single month or oh, that's $6,000 a year. They pay out their dividends every quarter. Drip, yes, reinvest our dividends. Expected annual increase per year. Now, based over the last five years, the growth has been 12.88%. So let's just stick this at 12. And then as you guys can see, over the last 10 years, they increased 100%. So the, every single year, they've been growing around 10% every single year. We're gonna keep the tax rate the same. And then we're just gonna change this to 30 years, that's the average uh, time that someone works before they retire. So we're gonna hit calculate our dividends. <laughs> and there we go, we're gonna have a $2.5 million balance just from investing $500 every single month inside SEHD for the last for the next 30 years with my starting balance of $3,700. And if they continue to increase their dividend yield, if they continue to grow 10% every single year for the next 30 years, I'm not saying past performance is gonna equal out to future performance then let me show you guys what we be what we would be making the dividends it, it would just take us um, 16 years to get to around thirteen thousand dollars a year in dividends that is a thousand dollars every single month and this is the power of the compound interest effect if we just grow out to 20 years for so from 13 years so from 10 years it's for, at four thousand and at 20 years it's at twenty six thousand dollars in a year and if we scroll all the way down to 30 years you'll be bringing in a hundred and thirty six thousand dollars in dividends every single year you have a six-figure income of passive income doing absolutely nothing in dividends every single year and if you want to retire and live on the beaches of mexico it'll take you 24 years to get around fifty thousand dollars you can live very comfortable in mexico on the beach for fifty thousand dollars every single year of passive income now look at this at 24 years you have next under a million dollars and then one two three four five six years you will have over two million dollars that is the power of the compound interest effect bringing in $136,000 every single year. Completely insane. Now, these numbers are based off of past performance, but there are people out there living off their dividends, bringing in 50, 60, 70, 80, $90,000 every single year in dividends. It, it is people out there doing that, and I'm gonna be one of those people in the next couple of years. And there we go, dreamers. Let me know down in the comment section, are you already investing inside SCHD? Is SCHD not the best one I should be investing into? Do you have one out there that's even better, that have a better growth rate, increasing their dividend yields every single year, and the equity of the company? Company has been growing over the last 10 years let me know down in the comment section can't wait to check those out i'll probably make a future video on that in the future and give you guys an update on how scsd is doing so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos once again i'd like to thank today's sponsor of this video moo moo check them out with the link down in the description they'll be down in the pinned comment section as well sign up deposit 100 get your free stocks use the platform, use their free tools, get that 5.1% cash sweep interest on the cash that's just sitting inside your portfolio. Thank you, Moomoo, for sponsoring this channel. Also, hit that thumbs up button. If you guys wanna help me out directly, it's completely free to hit that thumbs up button. And I'm also gonna give you guys my free ebook, my div Mastering Dividends ebook down in the comment section. It's gonna be pinned down there. You click that and I'll send you my ebook completely free that you can learn all about dividends that I can't explain in a simple YouTube video. So if you guys wanna learn more about dividend investing, that link is gonna be down in the pinned comment section. But other than that, guys, I'm Zeke. Bring you the Dream Green Show. I'm out. Peace.